Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I apologise for the mess of the hair. We have just arrived to the travel lodge at Glasgow Queen Street and I'm about to take you in the room. We are in number 811. Um, so let's get in the room and I will show you around. When you first come in the room, on the back of the door, you've of course got your little peephole to check that there's no one trying to get in your room. <laughs> you've got your fire safety information and then you've also got a plan of the floor that you're staying on. There's just 12 rooms on this floor and we are up on the 8th floor as I said before, 811. And you of course have your little sign, this is just double-sided, and it just says, a good sign, I'm still asleep. We then have the bathroom, which just has a shower. So when we come in, we've got the toilet, got the sink, you've got your spare towel, you've got the big mirror, and there's me, hello, just after travelling. And then of course you've got your shower. The shower's a pretty decent size. Um, and you'll of course have a bath mat to put on the floor as well. And you've got another towel here. It's pretty basic. You've got your hair and body wash, and then you've got your foam and hand wash. And if you do have a razor that you need to plug in, you can plug it in there as well. So that is the bathroom. If we turn round, we just have the bedroom area. Of course, travel lodges come as standard with a double bed. If we come over to this side, you of course have your little lights. You've got your little reading light, and then one of them also turns on this little, I don't know, mood light, shall we call it. Then you've got one plug here, and then somewhere to maybe put your phone if you're charging it. You then have the standard travel lodge print on the wall. Opposite to the bed, we have, of course, the Samsung TV on the wall. I don't know what size that is, but it's not a bad size. Got suitcases and bags here, along with your tea and coffee making facilities with your little desk. And you've got a couple of chairs, one for each person in the room. You've also got your bin and you've got another place obviously for plugs as well. And again, you have one here along with your reading light. And you've got a little lamp as well. A review is not spectacular. That is a review. One random chair down there. And I haven't got a clue what that is. It doesn't look great though, but that's the view. Um, as I said, there's the chair there. Got another plug here and another full-length mirror for if you're getting ready for those all-important nights out. And then we've got a couple of pillows spare up here along with your open plan uh, wardrobe space with six hangers, which isn't too shabby at all. And of course, the most important thing of the room, your bottle opener <laughs> for if you need anything. And I've just noticed this here. You've got the menus for your unlimited breakfast. You've got a drinks and bar snacks menu, and then you've got a dinner menu as well. So it's very nice that they have all these. And this is a travel lodge that does have a sort of snack bar. And there was also a vending machine in the reception area as well. And that is the room. I mean, it's pretty small size, but it's just for getting ready and for sleeping in. And that is the room. And that is the room tour of this travel lodge in Glasgow, Queen Street. I really hope that you have enjoyed it. Um, it's just a five minute walk from Glasgow Central train station. We stayed here because of the price. Basically the price was a lot cheaper than some of the other ones and especially the premier rooms as well and mainly because it's a Saturday night. We actually booked both nights separately so the Saturday night was incredibly expensive and the Sunday night cost about a third of the price of the Saturday which brought the price altogether of it down quite a bit. Um, but yeah, this is the room. It's bog standard, but it will do the job for staying and getting ready and going out and not really using the room for much else. But um, this is it. I hope that you have enjoyed it. Please give the video a big thumbs up if you have. Comment down below, have you stayed here before? Will this little room tour review make you maybe want to stay here if you come to Glasgow? Um, it's pretty well located actually as well. Um, and literally down the road is the entrance to Primark and your stones throw from Argyle Street and also the St Enoch Shopping Centre as well. So that's it, I hope you've enjoyed it. I've been Disney Matt, thank you for watching everyone. Um, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.